This is the plaintiff, Madeline Torres. She says her neighbor, the defendant, backed his car up into a brand new wooden privacy fence, damaging it something awful. His insurance covered that damage, but then he took down her chain link fence, which is on her property. He had no right to do that. And she's suing for the $1,250 she needs to build herself a new one. This is the defendant, Michael Atkins. He says he took down the plaintiff's chain link fence because it was a safety issue. They both agreed to have it removed. But now she's upset because she got a safety violation on the new wooden fence she built. It wasn't up to code. And now she's conveniently forgetting they had an agreement to remove the chain link fence. He's accused of encroaching on a neighbor. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant backed his car into her fence, damaging it, and she wants money for the repair. But the defendant says the plaintiff is only suing him because she's upset she got a citation about her illegal fence. He didn't back his car into the thing and owes his nasty neighbor nada. It's the case of please fence me in. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. All right, Ms. Torres, you are suing the folks who own the house next door to you, Mr. Atkins and Ms. Atkins. You're representing both of you here today, Mr. Atkins. Correct. For $1,250 in damage to a chain link fence. Tell me what happened. Um, I built a uh, fence July 17, 2020, um, myself, Your Honor. It was a wooden fence during the pandemic, so I can enjoy it with my family in the backyard. When you say you built it yourself, um, did you actually build it yourself? Yes, ma'am. Like you yourself actually built it? Y yes, ma'am. With your hands? <laughs> yeah. I'm so impressed. Okay, so you <laughs> built a wooden fence, and now you, you located that on the inside in your property of a chain link fence, which is also on your side of the property, correct? Correct. How much space was there between the chain link fence and the wooden fence? Inches. Okay. And why didn't, you, why didn't you take down the chain link fence? You just didn't see a need for it? No, I didn't take it down for a reason because every year I've been in this house for 15 years and every year there's weeds that grow crazy. My weeds along with his weeds. And that's what held it from encroaching all the way across. The, the so chain link fence the... held it from encroaching. Okay. Correct. All right. Correct. Okay. So then one fine day, what happens? Well, around October 7th, um, Mr. Atkins, at some point between July and October, took the chain link fence. Well, now, never... wait, why did he chain, take the chain link fence down? I, I, I never got a reason for it. Okay. I'm sorry. Did his tenant not hit both your wooden fence and your chain link fence? She hit the chain link post that was still up, but the chain was already taken down because he took it down. No, I'm sorry. She, she hit a chain. Are you saying that she did not hit the chain link fence? No, she did not. She hit the post that held the chain link fence up. So your testimony is that he had already removed the chain link fence? Yes, ma'am. And how, how and why did he remove the chain link fence? He never explained well why. when did you realize he had gone to your property and removed your fence on october 7th i took a picture and i sent it to my best friend i said what what do you see wrong with this picture she said oh my god he took the fence down without even asking i said yes and i was going to call him at which time i called and asked him why and he still didn't ever give me a reason but i did tell him the reason why i didn't want to take it down because of the weeds which at which time he said he would keep up with it. Right, but so well, I just I, left it did alone. Did you call the police or something? I, and said, I, mean, you I know. just took his word that he would keep up with it, which was my fault. So now he has a bigger yard and yes. it's your yard, but yes. he promised you he'd keep up with the weeds. And how'd Correct. that work out for you? It didn't work out at all. Okay, because what happened? Because um, on July 7th, I noticed the weeds again. I took a picture of it and I text him and I said, I believe you told me, you told me that you would keep up with the weeds, but because you took the fence down, the chain link, then now you are responsible to put it back. And he was like, I'm not going to do that. Who do you think you are? I've been here 20 years. 
You took my fence down. And okay, I don't think it matters it who's I... been there longer. I don't know why neighbors <laughs> always That's want to establish argument. who well, has been first. there longer. Like somehow that has anything to do <laughs> with the case. Right. Mr. Atkins, what's going on, sir? Um, I never took the fence down in August or July, whenever she is saying. My, my tenant hit the fence. She was trying when to do a U-turn. When did your tenant hit the fence? January 14th of 2021. Okay. And was there a fence there, a chain link fence, when she hit it? Yes, there was. And so your testimony is that it is your tenant who hit the fence and brought down the chain link fence? Yes, ma'am. Well, that's easy enough. Is your tenant here to testify? Uh, no, she is not. But I did submit a letter from her that states that she did hit the fence and caused the damage. Not just a pole, uh, but a fence. Yes. The accelerator in my car got stuck causing me That's to back letter, my yes. car into the wooden and chain link fence that is owned by Madeline Torres, causing them both damage. After the accident, my landlord, Michael Atkins, rolled up the chain portion of the fence and placed it in the rear corner of the property for safety reasons until the insurance adjuster could show up. I reported this incident to Progressive. Progressive ended, ended up settling with you, right, Ms. Torres? Yes, ma'am, for the wooden fence. Okay. Well, did you ever make a claim because for the chain link fence? I'm sorry, fence. Mr. Atkins, there no. wasn't a question pending for you. I'm doing the questioning. Ms. Uh, Torres, did you ever put in a claim for the chain link fence? No, because she only hit the post, the chain link okay, fence. Okay, but you just heard what taken. I just read out loud that she says, right? Yes, she says that now because he told her to Okay, say that. now I see that there was an original statement that you introduced Whose is this? That, that's from the other tenant at 43. Okay. I came home and noticed the fence was damaged in the backyard. So I called my landlord. He told me that Keisha hit it with her car. The next day, my landlord, myself, and Madeline Torres were looking at the fences in the backyard and mostly the damages. And they were also discussing keeping up the weeds in between the two fences. And he offered to maintain the weeds between the two fences, but said that the metal fence needed to be removed. And Madeline Torres agreed for the fence to be removed. So is she lying too? So let's talk about what happens. What, what, how does everything hit the fan, Mr. Atkins? According to her, you said you'd keep up the weeds. And according to your own witnesses statement, you said you'd keep up the weeds. Then what happened? Um, in late May, I had a back injury. So I had hired somebody to maintain the, the go over to all of my rental properties. I own multiple rental properties. So I hired a guy to go and maintain the we or to maintain the lawns. So when he mowed the backyard, all he did was mow along the pole. But I'm not I'm not understanding. So is there still part of a chain link fence up? Yes. Oh, why is there, she there saying no? Miss Torres, are you saying there's no chain link fence up at all? From the beginning of my wood fence all the way to the end, and I send you pictures, there is no chain link fence. Okay, so why wouldn't your guy just think it was your yard and weed it? Because the chain portion of the fence is removed, but all the poles are still in the ground. Still, man, kind of lazy landscaper. So but anyway, right that's what edge. happens. And then she texts you and right. you didn't the like the tone of her text. Right, Mr. Atkins? Right. I had, uh, had let's see the anatomy of a lawsuit yeah. now. That's what we're going to look at. Yeah. Good afternoon. The reason I'm texting you is because I recall you telling me you would keep the weeds cut down so as not to go over my fence. And this is why I was upset about you taking my chain link down. I told you this would happen. Are you planning on cutting them down, right? And mm -hmm. then you say, I have been maintaining it all summer until I had to have back surgery three weeks ago. So I haven't been able to do it since then. All the weeds that are growing are between the two fences, which is your property. If you don't want to wait till I finish my physical therapy in two or three weeks, then you should maintain your property yourself. Okay. <laughs> Just as an independent observer, I realize she could have been more polite. But wow, you came to a knife fight with a with a shotgun. <laughs> I mean, you're I've you're, had multiple uh, confrontations with Mrs. Torres and she always has that attitude with me. Okay. So when I read that first text message, I took that attitude that she always has with me and I responded accordingly. And this <laughs> this gentle listener is why people should talk to each other as opposed to write to each other. Say it, forget it, write it, regret it. 
because every time I read an email, I put my own spin on it. Right. And I'm, all, right. I'm offended at a, at a bouquet of flowers <laughs> sometimes. You know, um, yeah, it wasn't that polite. I agree. But truly, yours was infinitely worse. She didn't know you had a, a broken. All right. So what does she say? Don't be ridiculous. That fence railing was already broken from your tenant backing into it. Oh, there's you saying that, Miss Torres. OK, I see how this is going. I'll see you in court. Well, I got a cannon. You got a shotgun. I got a cannon. What is wrong with you people? Seriously, why would you let it descend into this area like you're letting it descend? What ends up happening? You then tell him, I see how this is going. I'll see you in court because I have all the picture and statements for just this. I'm well prepared. What pictures do you have? No, I see. Took the picture October seventh, and I took. I okay, sent let's it see to the picture girlfriend. we're talking about. Let's see the picture we're talking. I about. send it to her saying, "What's wrong with this picture on October seventh? And she said, "Wow, he took the fence down without asking." I said, "Yes." Look, she claims that she saw that you took down her fence months earlier because she texted it to a friend of hers. So, what say you about that? That it's fabricated. Uh, for I this don't case? know anything about that. I did not take the fence down until January. So what 15th. you're saying is she fabricated it for the case. She just changed the dates on a text and got it. Do you ever text? I, I with her? I don't know where she got that photo from. Do you ever I have text? No idea. Do you ever text with each other? Do you have previous texts from her? No, nothing was ever discussed about this fence before January of 2021. That you can see the chain link fence in that photo with all the weeds. The, her wooden fence there is, is there. No the chain link okay, fence there. There's no chain link. I don't know what you're talking about. This is from July of this year. There's no chain link fence there. No, of course not. Not in July oh, of in this July. year. Oh, that's when she called me about the problem from my guy because my guy didn't mow it down. <laughs> Your guy. Okay, so what happens is you tell him you're going to sue him. And what do you do, Mr. Atkins? Um, I called the city of Rochester and requested a property line inspection. Right. And when they go out there, what do they do to you, Miss Torres? They gave me um, a claim saying that someone complained about my fence. Oh, they did I more than that. A... They gave you a violation right. notice, right? Correct. And now and they're I telling you that you got to do what? I had to fix the fence um, within 10 days, and I did it in three. First, they said he went down there twice. He said I had an unpermitted fence, which I got a permit in four days. And then he went back. Oh, so again. you did have an unpermitted fence. Correct. And then I got a permit. In this 40, is why this is why you don't again. enter into this tit for tat with a neighbor. When you got, when you have people in glass houses, don't throw stones. That's, this is why you pick up a phone, you call, you talk to each other, you work it out. Because if you have an unpermitted fence, what do you think your neighbor is going to do? He's going to squeal. Go on. Yeah. So I got a permit. And then he went back again saying it was um, put up the wrong way. Right. A lot of towns require you put the best side, the finished side facing the neighbors. And I did in three days. Yeah. OK, that's lovely. But you see all, everything that's can see. Now it starts to look like you are so mad at him for what he has cost you. You don't call the police. You don't file a complaint. You don't uh, put it in writing. Supposedly, you call him and talk to him and he says, I'll do the weeds and everything's OK. And he gave me no good reason, but I just ate it. You don't strike me as a kind of woman who eats it. But what do we have? We have on your side, I rolled it up after the accident. The tenant says, no, 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 I, I hit both things. The other tenant says, yeah, he rolled it up right after the accident. And then I have him calling the, the uh, county or city on you and you getting, uh, getting warnings and having to rebuild your fence. And then you file a lawsuit against him. That is the timing of all of this, right? Correct. Yeah. If in fact it is as I believe it is, which is that this fence was hit in the accident, then you have to claim that against the person who hit your fence, not against him. And I know that he's the one you hate and are mad at because he answered you the way he did and he let the weeds grow and he violated the agreement you guys have, which is which is exactly what the tenants say. I mean, every, everything is exactly as the tenants also say. Um, and then he violates it and then and he's who you're mad at. But the person who hit your fence is not him. And therefore, I am ruling in favor of the defendant in this case. Good luck, folks. Ms. Torres, what are you thinking right now? Um, again, the little guy doesn't get justice. I'm not surprised.
Well, the judge says you're suing the wrong person. That's the real problem here. He. She didn't hit my fence. Mr. Atkins is not. She didn't hit my fence. I would be doing insurance fraud if I claimed the chain link. Well, that's the judge's decision. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to live with it. Mr. Atkins, let me ask you how you feel about the outcome of this. Do you think this is going to end your problems with uh, with Ms. Torres? I don't think so. She she has a lot of disputes with a lot of the neighbors. And um, unfortunately, I, I, I'm, I'm sure this is probably not the end of it. Um, All right. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Harvey? Well, I'm going to end it this way. A lot of times, you know, people think this is my home. I can do whatever I want. And they get into a war with their neighbors. Guess what? We have done this for so many years. Nobody wins in a neighborhood war. Your life is miserable. Your neighbor's life is miserable. you got to figure out a way of maintaining peace. I'm telling you, even if you're right legally, you have to live. And it's miserable to live with an enemy. So if I sue someone for a car accident that was their fault and my car got totaled, could I also sue for Uber, Lyft or public transportation for getting back and forth to work, apartments, etc.? Thank you. When somebody hits your car, it's their fault and they're insured. And if your car got totaled, you're supposed to get a check for the value of the car ultimately, right? And if you get the check for the value of the car on the first day, then you might not be getting transportation costs back. But, but there's the probably is, a delay. There's going to be a delay. And yeah, Uber, Lyft, ride sharing stuff, uh, bus fare, subways, sometimes rental cars, they're right. covered by these types of policies. So this Because person, it's the other person's fault. Yes, because it's the other guy's fault. Right. So, so if you game. hit my car and you have made me take public transportation, I can get or any right. other transportation. I have to rent a car because you hit my car up until the time your insurance company makes good on it. Right. You have to get me a rental. Your insurance right. company has to get me a rental car. Right. right. That'll do it for this session of the People's Court. We'll see you next time.